The video description not only helps you to be found more, but can have a multitude of different effects like more subscribers, more clicks on other videos, more clicks on your website, uh, longer view durations and so on. In this video I will show you how to craft the perfect video description. Hello and welcome to the Tubix YouTube channel. I'm Jan Fassbender from Sogit YouTube and a good video description mainly has two goals. It should target A, the YouTube algorithm and B, the viewer. It should target the algorithm because the video description can give YouTube a lot of ideas what the video is about and help the YouTube algorithm to serve the video to the right people. Of course, later YouTube will use click rate and watch time and other factors, but especially in the beginning, YouTube uses the title and the thumbnail and the video description to figure out what the video is about and to serve them to the right people and check if they like the video or not and then use other metadata. So we should give YouTube some ideas what the video is about, but also, of course, the video description is for the viewer. We can give them additional information, but mainly we can get them to do actions. If you're not a YouTube partner, you cannot link to your website, for example, in info cards, but you can always do it in the description. You can add social media links, you can add other videos and so on. So you have a lot of options to to redirect users to other websites via the video description. So put some effort in your video description. Of course, you can only write one sentence. You can do that, but I would recommend to put some effort in there and to write a proper video description so you not only help the YouTube algorithm and your videos found more, but you can also make more of your video, make better use of your video and redirect the audience. But how is a good video description structured? What should definitely be in the video descriptions? Let's go through this. The first very important thing to notice is that if you're on a computer, you can only see the first two lines of the video description before you click on show more. And if you're on a phone or on a tablet, you cannot see the video description at all. So if you want to put something in that, at least the people on the computer should definitely see, even if they don't click on show more, we have to put it up top. So if you have, for example, a very important link that you want to put up top and want everyone to see, at least the people on desktop, without clicking on show more, put it into the first line of your video description. You obviously don't need to put a link up there. You can also just start with the video description, but if you put a link up there, put it up top and then start with the description. This is the next part, the actual description of the video. This is obviously what the video description is about. The name says it, it's about describing your video. And this is what we'll do next. And here we don't describe it in just spamming tags or something in there. YouTube will recognize it and YouTube notices if you write proper sentences in there. So write just a regular English text or whatever language you produce your video in and write a couple of sentences. I would recommend you to write something like 250 characters. And definitely use your focus keyword in your description. If you don't know what a focus keyword is, check out our video on text. We discuss it in more detail there. But your focus keyword is the main keyword you're optimizing your video for on the search term, for example, you want to be found. Very important, put this keyword into the first sentence of your description. And if you can, use it a couple of more times in your text. This description obviously is mostly for the algorithm to show the YouTube algorithm what the video is about, but write it for the viewer because the algorithm will notice if you write a proper text or if you just write something with the keywords in there. After this text, I would put everything that you mention in the video. If you have, for example, specific links that you mention or further resources or something, put it underneath this description. Next, you can put in the structure of the video. It's not necessary, but it's definitely nice to have. You've probably noticed that in the Tubix videos, you will find in the description a structure of the video where you see when I talk about which topic in the video. You can just create something like this if you write the time code and what happens there. You write the time code like 345 and it automatically becomes a link and if you click on it, then uh, you will get redirected to this specific part of the video also gives the algorithm a couple of more keywords what the video is about, but mainly it is for the viewer. If they are searching for something specific, you might get longer watch times if people know, oh, this will come up in the video and I haven't seen it yet. 
Up to this point, these are the things that change for every video. Of course, we have a different description and so on. But after this, I would put a part that is the same for every video. So if you want to do something like this, put it into your standard upload settings so you don't have to retype it every time. The first thing that I would put into this part that's always the same is just a little description of your channel. What is your channel about? Just write a little paragraph. You can also put some like general keywords for every video for your channel in total in there that helps the YouTube algorithm, but it also explains the viewer what your channel is about. You can also use this space to put another call to action to subscribe to your YouTube channel in there. Just put in a link to your YouTube channel, say subscribe now and you have another part, another area where someone can subscribe to your channel. And of course, some general links like links to your website, social media links and so on. Put them into this part so that under every video, the viewer will be able to find your other social medias. This is kind of how I would build the description. Let's get to some specific tricks on how to make this description even better. First of all, make the separate areas visible as separate areas. This is very important for the viewer because if you create a video description that's that long, that, like we discussed, it will get very complicated and it's very important that the viewer can find what he's looking for in an instance. So put in some clear headlines, use parting lines to separate the different areas of your description. Also another trick for the description, if you want to track how many people click on specific links, that's not something that you can do in the regular YouTube analytics. You can only track clicks in info cards and on the end screen and so on, but not in your video description. If you want to do this, use a URL shortener because you will be able to track how many people click on specific links in your description. All right, so you've learned a lot about descriptions in this video. You can obviously do everything, but if you just want to focus on the main things, let's see what you should do in our quick executive summary. First of all, write an actual description in your video description with at least 250 characters describing the video and using your focus keyword. Second point, put in a part that's always the same and make it standard. And third, use specific different areas. Make your different areas clearly visible and structure your video description. But do you know what's more important than the video description when it comes to your video being found and clicked on? Of course, the title of the video. So I would recommend you to watch this video. This is all about the title and how to find the perfect title so that many people click on your video. But that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot and we'll see each other in the next video. Goodbye, your Jan.